morning guys it's wednesday which is office day for me uh not too much planned normal day regular um regular stuff going on i haven't been to the office on a wednesday in a minute so this is about to be weird um nah though i think it's gonna be good for real though but and you i'm here so guys, today is my work anniversary. I've been working for this organization for seven years. Y'all, when I first got this job, I didn't know what the whole organization was about. Didn't know what I was doing. Was just like, eh, we just gonna fill it out and see how it works out. And if it doesn't, I can just quit. And just be at home for a little bit because I was living with my parents. And, um... I really had the opportunity to just kind of do whatever it is I wanted to do, which I'm so grateful for my parents. But, um, and every day for like, at least the first three years, I complained about my job. I hated it so much. And my dad and my mom was like, look, we tired of hearing you complain. Just quit. You could just be home. We'll figure it out, whatever. But I decided to see it through and I'm grateful. Uh, I have gained so many wonderful friendships. I've lost friendships. I have... Uh, seeing people come and go throughout the organization but it's truly a blessing to be able to say I stuck it out seven years um I don't know what if your eight is gonna come uh it may may not I don't know I'm in a season of doing whatever God tells me to do and I don't believe he has uh designed for me to leave just yet uh we'll see um I'm still working to be fully licensed, and this is just the perfect placement for me at this moment. But um, I don't know. I'm I'm not against anything God is asking me or instructing me to do. I'm just in a season of obedience, and um, yeah. So I'm, but I'm thankful to see seven years at my organization. Uh, I work for children and families for a nonprofit, a, a federally funded nonprofit. Well, so it's a nonprofit, but the part of the organization that I work for is federally funded. And so um, I have the opportunity to work with children and families who need high quality child care. And um, my position within that is social and emotional development, making sure that children uh, and families are emotionally well and prepared for the next phase of life. And I'm eternally grateful uh, that I've lasted this long, that things have panned out the way that they did. Because, y'all, it's been some, just like any other job, though, it's been some rocky days. But I'm on the sweeter side of it. I'm on the side where I can just come in, do my work, leave, mind my business. Not that there's anything crazy happening here, but it's just like, I'm just thankful that it, it, it is the way that it is here. And um, I, yeah, I love it here. So, um happy anniversary to me and um i'm working of course on my anniversary of work and yeah so y'all come along with me for the day i got some organizing to do all right y'all so this bin is full of stuff that i really need to organize and put into a bigger closet um outside of here because all of that stuff needs to be separated and organized so that I could take it to the centers. So to the center that I'm working with today. So that's what I'm about to do now. Uh, one of my favorite things about my job is toys. <laughs> so look at this, it's the conscious discipline bear and you can put like where the child is feeling sad. You could like, if they're feeling sad and they feel it in there or if they're feeling angry and you say, you know, where do you feel it at? If it's in their foot, they can put it in their foot. They can put it anywhere. Look at that. Angry. I'm moving it from in my office to this room. All right, so I'm going to organize these. That one has stuff that needs to go with these three. And so does that one. All right, I'm about to head over. I found a whole lot of other stuff that I need to organize, but I feel like I want to bring my kits and stuff in here because it's hard for me to dig in that room every day. So, uh, but anyway, I'm heading over to the center. I need to take my tablet uh, that I probably didn't charge. 
and so I could start the day with the teacher and doing some stuff over there. <sighs> all right, y'all. Got all this stuff back there that I need today. Now I'm heading over to the center. It was a lot of work, y'all. I'm tired. Start coaching with the teachers today um, and kind of demonstrating what they need to do when working with the kids with social and emotional development from my two trial classrooms and going to one classroom. She's such a good teacher. Um, very driven and really loves what she does. So here we go. How do you feel? Oh, Miss Deja needs to fix the board. You feel, oh, you feel angry? <laughs> it's on there. Happy. You feel happy? So these teachers, these class, I just left a classroom. I'm just going to go to one today um, because I need to go back and do the paperwork from this one. Um, I think it went really well. I kind of did some coaching as they went through their day. Um, I really wanted to find a classroom with teachers who are already doing some of the things um, because it's going to make it easier for me to implement conscious discipline and um and also because they're willing i feel like they're more willing to do to do the, the work and so i'm so excited i'm so happy for these teachers uh i could already see children grasping the concept of feelings and emotions and stuff and I'm, it just makes me so happy i'm trying to learn y'all how to copy stuff out of a book i've done it so many times the wrong way that it looks look at this finally got it right all right uh, so i made it to the end of my day walking and then i'm gonna go eat dinner and prepare for tomorrow i'm training to attend i'm not training i'm just gonna attend and get that free food uh while i work there at the training um and that's really it Today was really good. I went into the classroom with the teacher, uh, made a couple of changes to her schedule, her daily routine and things that she do with the kids. I'm gonna be back next week. Um, but I'm out here getting these miles in because I need to lose more weight. Um, for dinner, I'm probably gonna have vegetables. Um, not really hungry actually, so I'm gonna eat you know something simple i'm gonna learn to make lentil soup though that's what i really want to do is learn to make some lentil soup so that's gonna be next for me to figure out how to do and i ordered in groceries to make this sauce to go with the vegetables that i bought so i'm gonna be using that too and that's it so i think i might be closing out the vlog here so i'll see y'all later bye